Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellfield, Victoria. Today we've just had a brand new Excalibur Prince arrive on our demonstration floor. Our Excalibur Prince, we've taken a different route this time. We've upgraded it with a few like essential items that we think a 23 foot van really needs. We've got gas heating by Truma as standard within this model. We have a 16 inch wheel that's been added instead of the 15 inch 235 wheels. We've got two solar, two batteries and a heap of other extras. Before we jump inside, I'm gonna show you the outside. So straight away, we have our brand new toolbox here. This is a TB7 toolbox, this slides either side. So it features a WebEQ slide on this side of the caravan which is an awesome necessity as far as outside cooking. So this guy pulls right out, push this guy to the side, jerry can off there, and we're now cooking off our A-frame. So this is a WebEQ 100, uh, sorry, 1000 or 1200 series with a higher lid with the thermostat on it. Um, there's a heap of room in here for external storage as well. But as far as plonking the WebEQ here, very easy. It's got that um, meter long, uh, gas bayonet hose that plugs straight up to that be able to get, uh, use the gas bayonet here on the A-frame, but it's a fantastic necessity right on the A-frame of that caravan. We've also got jerry cans either side of the toolbox, and we also have a generator slide on the offside. On the front of the caravan, the most aware thing that we're, we're always pushing with people is the subframe of the caravan. So the Prince Caravan is fitted with a six inch A-frame box steel chassis, Australian made 100%. It's also Australian 100% sourced steel. So you've got a three millimeter steel plate that is actually the caravan chassis, as well as a 450 MPA grade of steel manufactured chassis. So that means the flexibility is a little bit um, less, but the strength factor is almost triple that of what we were currently looking at with our other supplier. So these caravans are an intelligent engineer chassis or Intel engineering chassis for short. These guys here are owned and manufactured under the same umbrella as Crusader, it's one unit, um, which means the reliance and reliability from the quality control processes put here in the chassis are the same in the caravan manufactured as well as the GP12s that are, we're doing at the caravan, um, the dealership here as well. All right, straight away, we have an awesome shroud protector here on the A-frame. So it's an Excalibur feature shroud. Not only does it feature external protection, but it also gives you the availability of having this awesome, cool, um, etched out chassis. It is a uh, Raptor paint chassis uh, shroud, which means it's gonna absolutely cop a beating and a half, but it's also gonna be able to withstand the test of time. When the van goes for a resale, or you wanna give it a repaint, you take those few hex screws out, whole thing comes off, you can repaint, but it's gonna protect the A-frame from that um, chipping or the paint getting a little bit hit. Um, we've got here a semi-recessed coupling with an Alco 50 mil ball coupling, also available as well because it has that off-road tough ride suspension. You can go to a DO35, it is the same bolt pattern. We have our three and a half ton Alco jockey wheel. We have our brake safe just here on the A-frame, so this pin pulls out. There is no battery for that unit, which means it is um, self-reliant on the caravan batteries. Two of the batteries are running on this unit, which means there's no upkeep whatsoever. We've got these absolutely brilliant Intel, uh, Intel engineering chain hooks just there on the A-frame with this awesome little hook gate. And we've also got this four, uh, six stud bolt pattern here for the bolt-on, bolt-off jockey wheel. Works really well with caravan movers. This here is a uh, three and a half ton rated chassis, so it is fitted with an intelligent engineering suspension which is a tough ride at 3.5 ton 12 inch brake suspension that's a twin shock absorber as well as coil spring these guys do a fantastic job it's one of the only suspensions that can be retrofitted with airbags um, at a later stage this particular van here has a hammer tone paint all the way very hard to tell but we've got that hammer tone finish this has got four coats of paint and then the hammer tone finish to be able to finish it off it's almost a baked on enamel so it's a fantastic um, fantastic uh, protection on all of the caravan a-frame subsection we have two nine kilo gas bottles with braided gas hose. We have this fantastic regulator protector just here, so that's never gonna cop a beating. Left, right selection tools on those as well. Making our way through over here, we've got our A-frame tap protector. So we've got our checker plate guard, as well as our standard A-frame tap. All of the plumbing, because Crusader has all in-house plumbers and all in-house electricians. We don't use any subcontractors whatsoever. We've got our plumbing that's hoisted up behind the inside of the caravan chassis, runs all the way, so everything's out of sight, out of mind, but most importantly, it's not gonna get hit whilst you travel. You've also got that um, water tank protection underneath it with that gal sheeting all the way through. On the front, we have front windows. So this is the Moby Cool double glazed Dometic window. We use this on all of our caravan across. So it is a front guard protector as well as decal across, but you've got your uh, lift up struts as well as the um, double glazing and uh, quad lock system on that window as well. Offers a superior level of insulation, but it's also a brilliantly uh, very easy to use window with full blockouts and midi screens protector. On the front, most Crusaders are known for this, but you've got a fully insulated roof and fully insulated floor. So this is a 32 millimeter roof and 42 millimeter 
millimeter, fully insulated, no timber floor. So this floor here and the roof is something the Crusader do has very, very, very few, very minute few manufacturers within the caravan industry. But caravan manufacturer of the year 2019 and 20, that is something that we're absolutely driving to home. It is a new technology into the caravan industry and something that a lot of people are investing in, something that we're getting a huge amount of feedback. It'd be able to keep your van cool in summer, warm in winter. It's a fantastic necessity. We've got that high rise checker plate. Um, we have our Luca Bond aluminium side. The J molding that we use to be able to seal this guy off is actually a, um, a really wide J mold and it doesn't allow for that ingress of water into the actual J mold so it seals itself off. No water can get inside this area here so it's completely watertight. We have our Luca Bond aluminium which is a thermal composite panel. It's got a plastic insert between the aluminium panels and it is a, um, a, a, a about a a meter wide sheets and it keeps it very well insulated but incredibly well protected as well. It does a whole heap of stuff as well. Um, you've got 600 high checker plate here. As far as external access and external storage, we've got a nearly meter wide tunnel boot in here with touch light above. So very easy to operate at night, be able to pull the deck chairs out of. We have all of our hardware here. This van here is tearing at uh, 29.55 because of those upgrades with a ball weight of about 220. The standardized models that you can order from Crusader tear at about 28.50, giving you a payload up to the three and a half tonne mark, so a heap would be able to muck around with. So on this van here, you're punching about a 650 kilo payload, which is a heap for people who are gonna either live or travel in this unit. Check a plate clad floor in the Excalibur, so that's something you don't get on any of the Musketeer units, but it means you can just slide things in and out. You've got the two 32 inch TV boxes just there that we set up inside. Gas bayonet there for your outside cooking, of course. We have our AE8300 uh, dual sheet. Uh, Dometic awning, which is a splash granite awning. It's about a 17 foot awning, so a heap of clearance underneath. Gonna house all your windows, even the back lounge window, all under cover. Beautiful for be able to operate at night or in a rainy situation. We've got three outside annex lights as well as the LED lighter bargain handle. As far as outside entertainment, you have your external NCE speakers. So these external NCE speakers are waterproof, duffproof, Bluetooth. So these guys are fantastic to be able to use as an external entertainment environment. And especially when the grand final's on, when the AFL decides it wants to get its act together and kick back up again. We've got outside TV entertainment hatch. So the TV, the 32 inch from inside, comes out, we pop it there. We've got our air report, 12 volt socket, double power points, and of course that pitting table. So we're cooking off the front. We've got a gas bayonet plugged in. We've got all of our prep food here, sausages, snacks, everything ready to go. We've got our TV playing, beer in hand. We are sweet and external speakers playing our Bluetooth music. As far as that suspension, we touched on it a little bit, but as far as the caravan itself, it has a fully off-road suspension. So right down here we have these massive A-frame running right back to the wheels. So the A-frame and the chassis are a 12-inch subsection. 12 inches worth, six inch box frame, six inch box frame, running right back to the wheels. I couldn't go an inch back if it wanted to. So this is an absolutely impressive, reinforced, intelligent engineering chassis, 100% Australian made, engineered and designed. These guys are fantastic. So we have our checker plate guard just there for our water tank. We also have our 3.7 ton independent suspension rated at uh, 3.5. You've got 12 inch brakes, dual shocks, as well as 12 inch, 16 inch, um, 245 wheels and tires, so all terrain. The only thing that's stopping this room from going on heavy articulate movements is probably that coupling. And you can look at those for around about the $800 mark. They're a fantastic unit. We've got this checker plate wheel spat that follows the guard all the way through, which gives you a little bit of protection, but a little bit more flair as well. You've got your wine guard aerial on the roof just up there, ready to go. That's been an upgraded feature on this Excalibur Prince for this particular unit. We have a crim safe uh, tri-lock door. We have this crim safe protection. It gives you that um, availability with a roller blind to be able to make sure that you're gonna be protected at night. And this is a lot easier and a lot harder to break, sorry, into than what the, uh, the standard uh, lock doors are. But this is a fantastic unit and something that is standard across all Crusader ranges. So check this out. This is one of our favorite units. We've got the double step because of the 16 inch 245 wheel upgrades. We just give this a click. This guy now retract in, taking laziness to a whole new level, but it is well and truly a lifesaver when you're bending down. We're not getting any younger. This guy takes the, um, the heartache out of that. We've got a grab handle, bargain handle assist that lights up the doorstep LED just there in the door as soon as you activate and turn it on. Now, just looking at these, we are fully RVMAP accredited with Crusader. It's met all quality control gates, which is about 50 of them. And we are winner of the manufacturer of the year 2019 as Caravan Industry Association recognized, which is a federal government recognition. 
We have an LED touch light in the rear again, but there is a heap of storage in this Excalibur Prince. The Excalibur Prince features a front and rear tunnel boot, giving you full underneath access left and right. So as far as putting an outside kitchen in, as far as being able to put a trestle table in, being able to put an angry husband in, whatever it may be, you can plonk them inside. It's so much easier to be able to use a heap of storage. Just because you have the storage doesn't mean you need to fill it to the brim. It just gives you the availability to put X amount in the front and X amount in the back. And I want to put tools here and I want to put uh, deck chairs here. It gives you that availability to go, all right, where am I going to install my load? Where is it going to go? So making our way around here, we have a two-arm bumper bar, hot dip gal chassis, so this guy is not going to rust whatsoever. We do this for all of our bumper bars just to give you the uh, availability to make sure that when you put something on the back, whether it be a jerry can holder, as I said, angry husband, pole carrier, whatever it may be, it's not going to scratch. We have a tri Narva light assembly, so we could have put a cheaper unit, but Crusader have installed a Narva light system, which is one, looks stunning, two, it's Narva. Whoever has issues with Narva, Narva is fantastic. You won't be able to see it because we've got our stone shield up here showing a little bit more light into the van, but you've got your Safety Dave infrared night vision camera up there just above the um, stone shield, as well as a rear window that's about 1200 by 600 high. It's a fantastic asset to the Crusader. Again, you've got that Intel engineering um, recognized uh, rear spill wheel carrier, which is a fantastic thing. Looks absolutely awesome, but it means that the van sticks closer to the body giving you about 300 back from the van. We have our 16 inch 245 spare wheel and tire with really beautiful looking rim here from Primal Wheels and Tires. We have our license plate carrier here at the back. This guy here, while well, before we walk around, is a uh, 32 mil roof and floor. So the floor is a little bit thicker than this, but the roof itself is 32 mil. That is a fully insulated panel. So that there allows for no water ingress into the caravan whatsoever. It also means that the caravan itself is way better insulated. This guy here, when heated up to about 70 degrees, was about 25 on the underside of it. So we've done these tests, we've, we've tested the competitors. This is the way forward. It costs more. It absolutely takes a heartache and a half to wire up. It takes a heartache and a half to work with this stuff, to learn the, uh, the pros, the cons, the reasons why you should do it. But Crusader would never look back since using this sort of material. So do a little bit of research in it. This is a, a fully insulated composite panel. One piece, roof and floor. So. From the back of here to the front of the checker plate at the start of the video, that is one piece completely. It comes up as one big looking oblong shape plonked down in there. There is no way known you're gonna have a water leak. There's no way known you're gonna have any issue whatsoever and fully insulated. You're never gonna hear, you're never gonna have to pop that heater on when it's, you know, two, three. It keeps the warmth in the van, keeps the cold out. It's fantastic. Making our way through the back here, we have that rear tunnel, tunnel boot with a rear fuse line just here at the back so you can very easily access all the fuses or add secondary items to it uh, at a later stage. And maybe it doesn't have a gas heater, so you want to install a diesel, very easy to do under that side there. We have two 95 litre water fillers, so these guys are separately filled, separately used, separately plumbed. We also have a 95 litre grey water tank as well. A little bit tight here, but what we've got is our uh, two uh, 220 amp AGM batteries on the outside of the van, giving you more storage. Well, we've got bash plate there with checker plate protecting as well as it's L-shaped bolted to the van itself. And we've got outside breaker switches as well just in case someone comes up and wants to have a bit of play around. It's waterproof of course. Mains water inlet here. We have an outside shower just there with hot, cold and a pressure tap. So you can give your feet a little wash after you've been to the beach. We have a microwave vent. We have aerial just there. We have again those 16 inch 245 wheels and tires. Bottom Dometic vent. Now this guy here is for our fridge. You also have carbon monoxide detector just there. On the roof, very hard to show you but we've got a top uh, fridge vent, which is a heat exhaust and expulsion system. So the two fans in the fridge are going to suck that air, pump it straight through the roof because natural heat rises up. A lot of manufacturers just do a second vent up the top. It means dust ingress, it means water ingress, it means headaches. So we don't do that. Yes, it costs a bit more, but in the long run, our customers love it for us. These fridges are tropically rated. They're going to work in very, very warm heat. Um, it won't conk out, providing you give it a head start. And most importantly, it's a Dometic product. We're backed by Dometic. It's a three-year warranty on that fridge. It's fantastic. Always backing up their product. You have a 95-litre grey water tank. So this guy here is currently open. You want to go to a national park, you pop him off. Let's say you've been putting things in the grey water tank you shouldn't, and when you were on the outside of the van, you're getting a bit of a smell. You pop the hose just here, pump it full of water, open this up, and you flush the whole tank out. So on all the grey water tanks that we manufacture, as of 2019 and 20, there are smell traps in all of those units, which means you're never going to get that waft of smell through that um, the outlets inside the van, like the basin or the kitchen sink. So it's going to keep it smelling fresh. We have our toilet, of course. 
Now the toilet itself is a ceramic uh, basin, uh, sorry, a bowl toilet. This guy here has little wheels. This, however, is not an off-road cassette. You do have to be respectful for it. You can't take it off-road. It might do corrugation, who knows? Um, alternatively, you can take it to Virgin, Jetstar, Qantas. It doesn't really make a difference. They love carry-on luggage. You just pop your chemicals in there. You can use duct cleaner on that because it is a porcelain bowl. So what we've got here is our carbon monoxide outlet for that gas heating. So that just pours out of there. This gas heater is fantastic. It uses one bottle of gas over 72 hours at 30 degrees heating. Heap of time. You're never going to use it for that long because the van itself, given that it's fully insulated, is going to absolutely keep the heat in. Now, assuming that this guy smells carbon monoxide, it has an automatic gate cut off for itself. So it senses carbon monoxide and it automatically cuts its operation. The smartest gas heaters in the unit. These guys are fantastic. German engineered is a Truma unit. But of course, plumbed by the professionals, us, and we do the right job. So you've got that rear access again, noting that LED spotlight at the back. You've got power inlet here, as well as our aerial port just here, and Excalibur prints just to be able to show it off. We've got double seals on all of our lock doors. Just give that a shot. We have making our way to the front. Now that is that one piece roof coming all the way down, meeting that H-mold. Solid as anything. All three of us who are filming this can get on the roof at the moment and party around, but we won't do that because the WorkSafe police will come around and arrest us. So, what we've got here is we've got our generator slide just there. You pop your generator, you give it a crank, you plug it into the uh, mains power inlet just there, and it's gonna run the air con, because that's a true inverter air conditioner. So it's gonna run the air con, it's gonna run the microwave simultaneously at 2.2, 2 kVA. That's gonna absolutely nail it every day of the week. Now, the best part of the show is the inside of the caravan. So what we've gone for with the inside is a very light but modern approach that you can chuck a flare of color into. We've gone a little bit of a green tinge in this guy here, but it just gives you a little bit of flare. So making our way up our double electric manual step just here, we have our Excalibur Prince. So the Excalibur Prince, for all those who haven't seen it before, is a dual living system. So husband's up here at the back, he likes to get up early, have a coffee, watch some TV. I'm an absolute movie buff, so I'm up at six o'clock watching movies. My partner's still asleep. She's in the back end right there, being able to close the door. This, now, most manufacturers, they'll put a Dickie Constantina, they'll put maybe a curtain. What we've gone ahead and done is, we've got a box cavity here and a sliding door just here. So that is two lockable areas for what Mike or Bob or whatever he happens to be named is, is watching movies and the wife needs some sleep. This here just closes. Very easy to do, stays shut, she can have a shower, she can go to bed, she can do whatever she likes or vice versa because of gender dynamics. So what we've got here is, we've got our main kitchen on the, uh, on the door side of the caravan with filter tap. So filter tap here, we've got our main tap just like that, we've got double power point here above the window, stove switch, we've got touch light over the top of the kitchen dinette area. We have a swift uh, fan forced oven. Now the other swift appliance in this which we didn't get to on the outside is a swift 28 litre fast recovery uh, hot water service. So the hot water service is a uh, fully stainless steel unit. It is 240 volt and gas, fast recovery, all Australian made. All Australian made. They have a manufacturing facility here in Campbellfield. I've been to the factory myself. I've seen them putting the units together. These guys are weapons of what they do and we support Australian business 100%. So this little Australian flag you see, made in Australia, owned and proud of it. Absolutely killing it. This is a swift fan forced oven. So the fan forced oven itself comes standard within the Excaliburs. You've got this awesome little system here where you've got a wok burner. It's also red to be able to get everyone know that it is in fact a fan force oven. Three burner with a 240 cooktop. You've got grill and you've also got oven in there as well. We do suggest taking the paper out of the tray before you light it up because it will in fact catch fire. Before we shut this guy here, we lock him all down. We've got a recess cooktop giving you a heap of prep area. But the other thing people love about the prints is the other prep area on this side of the caravan. So you've got dual prep areas as well as your picnic table on the outside. Get this. We've got a two and a half kilo front load washing machine from QFlow, which is a Dometic um, owned European unit that they bring in. And um, Crusader Caravans are proudly one of the only distributors of said unit for the particular caravan. And as you can see here, it fits beautifully within that system. You've also got bottom access there for easy servicing. But people are always worried with the front load washers. How do we get it out of this Aquarial servicing long run? This guy here will take you about 10 minutes to be able to pop in and out. They're a fantastic unit to be able to service and use. That's why we're backing them 100%. Check this out, microwave below bench. This guy here, again, is a Swift system, which is an all Australian made and manufactured unit, just like the, um, the oven. So this guy here, 
is a convection, uh, very similar to a convection microwave. It has different settings like pizza mode and uh, popcorn. It's got these beautiful little settings on it. But most importantly, check out this travel clip. Nothing ever can come open when you go on some of those off-road terrains. So most people complain, oh, my microwave camera. Not gonna happen with this here as well. All tested, all tried. Massive pot draw underneath that microwave with a heap of usability space. We have massive prep area. All of our electrical systems are kept to one cupboard. So we've got dimmable lights just above right here. We've got our radio, which is that Bluetooth system from NCE. We've got inside outside speaker switches. So check this out, inside outside, outside. Inside only, outside, inside, everywhere, everyone's partying. So, besides the disco system, it's got Bluetooth system, so you can just stream directly to it. Spotify, Apple Music, whatever it may be. The hokey pokey, we don't really mind. You've got wireless lighting system. So these switches for the wireless lighting are just by the door. You can just pop it off, you can walk around with it, you can fire it on and off, you can turn, press a multitude of different buttons, just to really make sure people think there's a poltergeist. We just put that there, but it's got a manual override inside the overhead cupboard as well. Gas hot water switch just here, we give it a flick, it's on. We've got our fuse board up here with Fuse Legend. This is the PM300 system. The PM300 system is a projector system. It controls all of your DC to DC, 240 volt charging, solar controller, controls absolutely everything all in one unit. It also controls water level indicator as well as battery and management operations. This is one of the smartest units on the market, the most affordable units on the market without going to something ridiculous. However, this unit here is reliable, it's gonna get the job done, and it's got the efficiency and effectiveness that we can expect with a Crusader product. All of our 240 compliance up here as well, so all electricians in-house are signed off of in-house with Crusader. LED strip lighting is my favorite thing. You've got with the Excalibur range something truly special with the cupboard system. You've got 40 Newton gas struts with these cupboard systems. You've got reinforced struts either side. You've got piano hinging all the way underneath there to a 16 mil board cabinetry. You've also got this aluminium extrusion. You will not see this anywhere else within the caravan industry. This is something that Crusader Caravans patent. This is something that we have designed and built and had manufactured and imported and we use it ourselves. Now, why is it important? Plastic latches on caravans are one of the biggest things that people complain about. It broke, it's underweight. Now, tell me how on earth anything can ever, ever, ever go wrong with that. You can swing off the thing. This little latch here goes just like so and nothing can actually pop this out of place. There is a heap of pros to this system and no one else uses it. Again, it takes time, it takes effort to be able to implement this. But Crusader Caravans Manufacturer of the Year, these are the reasons that we do what we do. There's piano hinging on every single cupboard inside this caravan to give you that reassurance that you're never gonna have to adjust it with a screwdriver. Fantastic. You've got three bay windows, so a heap of lights coming in here. You've got with all the windows, two hands, two handles, block him up, pull him down, midi proof screens of course, Dometic double glazed windows, we just pop him out, and just like so. Very easy to use, quad lock systems, no one's breaking in there. Each, US, uh, each LED reading light underneath that power point has got um, USBs on every single one of the reading lights, so underneath every single reading light, there's a little USB. Now. Let's say we want to be able to have a little bit more room with the caravan. You've got this table. This is a Nuva mapper table. And we go in, out, we go in, we go out, we go spinny, we go down. So this guy here can actually drop down to a bed configuration if need be. If you're bringing little, little Cindy on a trip with you and you want to be able to drop it down, you just press the button on the floor and this whole thing will drop. Very, very easy to use. Um, this guy here is one of my favorite tables, albeit the leg at the bottom. Yes, a little bit bulky, but I tell you what, being able to move that table around, especially if you meet a few friends at a caravan park, or especially for someone like me, very, very easy to use. In, out, sweet as pie. Now, we've got that huge tunnel boot at the back just there. We've also got the tunnel boot at the front. Now, as far as our drawer configuration, just to give you a bit of an insight, we've got our cutlery drawer just at the front. We've got our standard drawer with metal-sided drawer runners. Polycomp bottoms, which is the plastic composite, as well as 16 mil door material. There is 16 mil board everywhere in this caravan. It packs an absolute punch and a half. There's no stick furniture here, no three mil overlay ply furniture. This is the real deal. Yes, our vans are a bit heavier, but they're built better than anyone's. We have a full pull-out pantry. Check this out. One, two, three, four, and I think this is a flat. We just got a little flat. So a heap of storage and pump access underneath there. 220 liter AES smart fridge. So this is a um, R8408X fridge from Dometic. This guy here is a three-way, it's tropically rated. Very, very easy to use. All wire shelving, you've got your um, little crisper drawer down the bottom. You've also got the removable shelves there as well. It's an LCD touchscreen display. Um, absolutely wicked to use, as well as the fridge freezer unit. Um, this guy here, a lot of people are 
confused. It is a little bit narrow, but it is still 220 liters. This unit here has been specifically designed for if you need to later on, I'm talking seven, eight years, nine years. This size here will absolutely always fit outside of the door of the caravan. This layer here, a lot of people get worried, oh, how are you gonna take this out? How are you gonna get that out? Everything is designed with the insight that there might be a time, maybe just maybe, you break the fridge, you drop something on it, you need to change some parts, pull it out straight at the door. So easy, Crusader always think. We have our sliding door to separate mum and dad. We also have our ensuite just here. So we've got our porcelain uh, toilet. We have our uh, touch, a, a touch button display for automatic flush, two towel rails, we have our toilet roll holder. We also have here our basin, again porcelain, touch light for mum or dad. We have our overhead cupboard, massive depth on that. We also have our fan, inside, outside. So one in the shower, one in the ensuite, but it sucks air out or puts air in your discretion. You can pick and choose. We have a drawer in the ensuite. We have some cupboards in the ensuite. No one gives you this sort of space in this sort of caravan. Now keeping in mind, I'm probably 70 something kilos. There is a heap of room for me in this. I'm a relatively wider shoulder person. There's a heap of room in this arrangement. With the door shut, it's still giving you heaps of room. The shower is a massive shower as well, just to give you a little bit of insight. So shower goes up, all the way. We pull them all the way up, just like so. We pop this in, very, very easy to use. I'm very comfortable in here. It's a one piece shower cubicle. So it's a one piece fiberglass all the way through. No chance of ingress, as well as proper sliding door, glass shower door, and um, reinforced lock just like that. No plastic dicky locks that other manufacturers use. We use a true steel reinforced latch as well as soap drain. And we also have that fan top and bottom as well in this unit um, with sink plug there at the bottom. That is a non-return on all of those as well. Now, if you want to see the best gas heating install in all of Australia, Crusader Caravans absolutely smash it. So our gas heater is located underneath the bed. Now that's our magazine pocket. Normally there's a drawer just underneath here, but it also comes with a magazine pocket that we fit when you pick the caravan up. Now, we have gas heating. So what we've done is we've installed a Truma, um, Ebis, uh, sorry, Truma gas heater from E-Heater uh, e Vario. We've got um, massive amount of storage here. You can still put stuff on top of this unit. So a lot of manufacturers just dump the heater there, call it a day. This unit here allows for the quick and easy access and removal if you need to be able to have a look at the unit. Really good place to be able to store cash just underneath that. But normally you just pop bags and stuff on it. This guy here is fantastic. So um, as far as being able to have storage, Crusader have capitalized on that and just been able to give you the availability to actually put stuff on top of all these items. You've got your uh, fire extinguisher just here underneath the bed, just while we're having a sleep. If you get up in the middle of the night, you need to you know, just casually extinguish the fires. Um, we have our uh, smoke detector. We have large MIDI hatch. There's also one of these above the uh, lounge area as well. Large 1000 by 800 windows. We also have Sirocco fans in the bedroom. Now if dad's inside here and he's getting a bit hot, he can pop his on and mum can leave hers off. It's completely up to you. It's got three fee, uh, fan speed settings and very, very easy to feel just a bit of air circulation in these areas. It's also got timers, three, six, nine and 12. So after 12 hours, it'll automatically turn off. USBs on our reading lights. Now either side of the bed in our little nooks, these little guys just pop off, just with a quick little hit. So inside this unit here, you've got double power points and USB cigarette sockets. So very, very easy to show, very easy to access as well. So you've got your full robe all the way back. So those are easily gonna fit a coat hanger. Some are even the bigger, chunkier ones in there as well. And a heap of storage to still pop things in here. Mum can still pop her stuff in here, whether it be alarm clock, phone charger, whatever it may be. And you've got drawer assembly in here as well. This is a six foot two by five foot bed. We do offer larger beds for larger gentlemen, or larger women's of course. Now, our gas heater control unit <coughs> is just above the door, just here. So we've got a gas heater. Check this out, it's so easy. And done, that's it. Now it'll turn on, it'll start activating, providing the gas is on in the gas bottles. It'll fire up and start working immediately. They're a fantastic unit. So. Whoever's on this side of the bed is dibs into doing all the hard work of getting up and actually turning it on. Oh, is the life of a caravan. We have a pressure hatch just here on the front of the van. So whilst you're traveling on dirt roads, you just pop this up. It sucks the air in and pressurizes the whole caravan. So it actually keeps all of the dust out of the door frames, everything. This is standard within all the Excalibur range, within the Crusader range. This is a 32 inch TV. 
It is the dream of any person that loves a big TV in a small space. So 32 inch TV, it removable whilst you're traveling. With that wine guard area, we're gonna be able to pick up reception absolutely anywhere. There's also one of these in the lounge as well. We do offer a 28 inch smart TV as a substitute for this if you want something a bit smaller, but you wanna be able to have that smart feature tool like stream the old Netflix to it. As far as overhead cupboard, we have a massive overhead cupboard in this area as well. So very, very easy to use. You just pop all your stuff up here, all your knickknacks, whatever it may be, and you've got an equal amount of storage here. So between husband and wife, I'm sure you guys can arrange to give the husband maybe one cupboard and you can keep the rest. Completely up to you. We have an Ibis 4 inverter air conditioner. The Ibis 4 inverter air conditioner is gonna work off Honda 2 kVA generator. I've seen tests where they just run it off one kVA generators and it works just for the aircon. But keeping in mind, it has to run through a caravan system. So ideally, 2.2, Honda, Yamaha, something like that, either which way, it's gonna smash it out of the park. But with the inverter air conditioner, unlike the Ibis 3s, it means that you can use this and maybe this. Now this, and maybe the washing machine, something like that. So it's gonna give you the availability to be able to use either or. So it's a fantastic option if you're considering a generator purchase. The Ibis 4 is something that you definitely wanna be able to get in your next caravan. Now, just to highlight, just before we love you and leave you, there's a massive little cupboard that we sort of bypassed when we walked in here. You've got a heap of storage in this cupboard system right here. Be able to access things like your sauce or spices or whatever it may be. Um, you can just grab that from the outside of the caravan. We have. Whoever dibs this side, you've got a footrest as soon as you walk in on this side, so you can be lounging across there, and whoever's on there, they sort of just have to deal with it. We have on the exiting of the van, this is the PM300 system we were talking about before. The PM300 system gives you an insight to the whole caravan's operation. So it tells you the van's at 79%, we don't have it plugged in. If we're outside, it'll tell you how many amps are coming through the solar, how much is in each one of the tanks, including the gray tank or the 295 liter water tanks, how many volts are running through, the temperature, um, the sound, the date, the time, it tells you everything you need to know. So this system's really concise, works very easily. You just go load off, load on, pump on, pump off. That's it, they're so easy. No, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to use something like this, but it gives you the availability that if you are a rocket scientist, you can learn more about your caravan and get more out of it. This little cupboard up here is fantastic for keys, fantastic for hats, whatever it may be. There is a heap of storage in the Crusader Prince. It is the best Aussie van and nominated and winner of Caravan's Best Aussie Vans that's ran by one of the um, Caravan World magazines. And the reason why I won it really is all of the features plus more that we've highlighted in this tutorial vid. This van is available at the moment, so if you'd like to be able to find out more information, please give us a call on 93592938. Send me an email at sales at crusadermelbourne.com. Alternatively, if this ticks the box, but you want something a bit smaller, head to a website at www.crusadercaramansmelbourne.com.au and visit some of the other Excalibur range or Musketeers for that matter. Or alternatively, like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much for your time, guys.